ever had people take PTO or maybe have a sick day and you had to jump in and do what they're doing in your business? Or maybe you've had some of your employees have to carry this extra load and they end up working instead of 40 hours, 50, 60, 70 hours. They're working late. They're burning out. They're not happy. Maybe they even quit. Burnout is a huge issue across a lot of businesses. And it brings up this question of like, well, people are going to get sick. People are going to take PTO. People are going to have vacations. And then there's other things like holidays and unexpected time off or even turnover in your business. So how do you make sure that your business continues to survive even with the expected or unexpected existence of sickness and PTO, health issues and productivity issues and mental health days and everything? everything that could potentially hit your workforce. Well, I'll give you a little trick. So first of all, I want you to think about your profit and loss statement, your P&L, and that line item or couple line items in your P&L where you represent your labor cost, all of your wages, your salaries, and everything. And that is probably some percentage of your overall revenue. And after that, and your cost of goods sold and all of your other expenses, then you get to your profit margin. And if you haven't gone through an exercise to design out a perfect profit margin for your business, and what kind of revenue and sales you need in order to generate that profit margin, go back and do that exercise. But I'm gonna put this little tweak in there, this little change for you. When you think about the people side of your business, add a 15% buffer. Take your people cost, your labor cost, your salary cost, whatever it is, increase it by 15% when you're budgeting out how much will be done. Because you have to think about those unexpected days out of the business. When people get sick, when they don't show up for their shift, when people take planned vacations, paid or unpaid, and you still need to get the work done. When people have an unexpected family emergency or have to travel across the country for unexpected reason. These things happen in business and and they should be expected. And so if you build that margin into your plan, it creates enough of a buffer so that you can over hire, you can have more people on your payroll so that when someone is out, this other person can fill in, you have extra people that can be cross trained in a variety of positions. A lot of bigger businesses don't have this problem because bigger businesses when they're well staffed and cross trained uh, have substitutes. So I think about this at Trainual, And you know, if we have a support rep that is is sick one day or takes time off, we have other support reps that can switch their hours or can modify their schedule to pick up the extra tickets. When we have an engineer that takes a vacation, we can reallocate the points that the engineers are going to work on for that squad and push the features back. But in your business, maybe you have a business that the doors are going to open at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. or doors are going to open at the dinner shift and somebody needs to be there to answer the phones and serve the customers. And if you don't have the extra people that can fill in and plug those roles, then guess what? You get to do it for free. That's your prize as a business owner or a leader is you get to jump in and carry extra responsibilities. And it may be putting those fires out, covering those burning needs for the business at the expense of the more important work that you really should be doing. And so if this is not costing you burnout and emotional duress and just burning the candle at both ends, then it is likely costing you the strategic advancement of your own business. So build that buffer in and make sure that you're hiring in advance. Now, hiring in advance, getting that 15% buffer also lets you have that time to train people before they're fully productive. It also lets you have people that train in different departments that can be cross-departmentally trained to figure out what their career path will be inside your business. And this is a luxury, I would say, that slightly bigger companies get to enjoy because as we all know, big companies are way less efficient than small companies. Small businesses are grinding and bootstrapping to save every dollar and to break even or sometimes produce a profit. So what I would challenge you to do is think about your business and plan for that buffer, plan for the extra salaries. And if this is not extra people, you're planning for the raises that you're going to give your existing people to do the same work. But if you don't have that buffer built in, if your business model can't sustain it, and your prices aren't high enough to be able to sustain those people or those raises, then six months from now, 12 months from now, you are bound to get 
get in a situation where you can't pay enough to be competitive, where your people are burning out, where you're having to jump in and do that work. So please, for the scalability of your business, build in that people buffer. Take a look at your own PL, let me know what you think, and hopefully you can redesign your product, your service pricing a little bit to enable you to have that profitability. And it's that profitability that will enable you to hire that next person, to scale to that next level, and to get to the medium or bigger company size where this isn't so much an issue. But I've been there, I understand it, and I've jumped in myself. And when I finally got out of that cycle, it's because I built in enough margin that our profitability could afford hiring that next person, training that next person, making that investment to cover the work when one person is taking vacation. And that's how you build a more sustainable business. Yeah.